All right, I had a great idea that we should do this physics problem. In a pickup game of dorm shuffle ball, students crazed by final exams use a broom to propel a calculus book along the dorm hallway. Me when I'm middle transcendentals? Here. <laughs> and then oh, that was that right? full body right? Exercise. The sweeping? I was doing like the full yeah, body yeah. curling. Your curling is kind of sick, actually. <laughs> I'm watching a video. What's the normal force here? Oh, you gotta like this. Alright, just got back from doing some stairs. Uh, been. After like math and all that stuff, I've just been studying for the COK, uh, the Celebration of Knowledge. Um. Hello. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> the Celebration of Knowledge. Uh, physics test and I'm really just gonna have to I mean I'm studying There's not much more I can do um, I'm just glad he awards partial credit but uh, it's also really sad because for 10 years more than that. So also Todd and his wife uh, can't have children, but they pour all their love as if there was a child or two. Uh, their pet dog, and Gus was is his name, and he he was like the main point of almost all of the physics problems were about Gus chasing this frisbee in this pattern, or he tries to stop to catch a squirrel at this speed and forces and stuff, but this weekend they had to put him down and it's kind of rough. I'm gonna write him a card at some point, but uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, i not not saying yeah to that, but then you saw the previous video where one of the physics problems I found was playing shuffleboard with calculus books and we decided to do that and sent a video to Neil and Todd and it'll be funny to see what their reactions are when they eventually read it but yeah okay. David Yeah, that is hot. That is hot. Just like you. All right, just got back from the two hour physics test and I actually feel really good about it. There weren't any questions that I weren't sure, unsure how to do. And from talking to other people, I'm fairly certain I got most of the questions right. Um. But we'll see. I think for today, I have, I'll do physics homework and applied internships until six. Or until 5.30, then I'll eat food. Then at six, uh, work on the math project. Until we're done with that. And then the rest of the night, I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe go back and do some other homework. Not sure. Felt pretty good about the test. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, I just got. Um, Just spent almost four hours, three hours, close to four hours working on the math project. And 
that took way longer than I thought it would. Um, it is currently 1020. Um, I probably should go get chocolate milk and cheese dips, but I don't know. There's a family of deer. I'm about to go that way. I have to grab my stuff. But hopefully I don't scare them. Oh no, I'm out. <laughs> You're out of chickens. I'm out of chickens. How are you out of chickens? My bar needs a refill. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Today has been. That last night, my butt's no longer hurting during the day, but now I wake up consistently at 2.30 a.m. and can't fall asleep. So, rather than just rolling around, uh, last night, or I guess this morning, I put a sheet over my head, made sure my fan was loud, and applied to an internship, and checked out other internships and stuff. And I heard back from one of them, uh, Gostin and Gloston, and I'll be <sighs> I'll be um, having an interview with them tomorrow. So I got to actually I got to figure out more along the lines of what they what they do, prepare like what I'm gonna say and stuff and yeah. And then excited for this weekend with the dance. I still have one spirit ticket, but I think I did find someone who would be willing to trade with me to get Andrew on the same boat. It should be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Just got done with the math presentation. We were actually able to get it on our first actual take, and I felt pretty good about. Well, I definitely felt good about the stuff I said. It was a bit. I was all right with the, the other people, but it was good. Uh, glad they were able to get it done earlier with me and not procrastinate because I won't be able to do it any other time. Now I got physics and math to hopefully finish and get to bed at a reasonable time. I didn't understand it in the video. I'm like having no trouble doing the problems at all. So that's a good feeling. But I, but still a lot of problems. And I didn't never got to physics today, so I still have to do physics tomorrow. But I decided I'd complete. I'm heading over to the maker home now uh, to finish math. Uh, uh, and then I'll come in once David uh, so then David could 
get some sleep. It's almost midnight now. It's going to be fun because I get to go into Maker Hub and I'm going to see who has procrastinated engineering and who's in the Maker Hub right now uh, um, studying. Feels good. I'm got my study here. I'm fairly tired. I just took melatonin, but I'm happy with math. I'm, I, I, I've never actually like understood like had hard harder concepts come so easily but today's homework was all of this all of that and all of that and it's really looks complex and it it is but I understand it which is cool and it's just about one I'm gonna go pack up my things go brush my teeth Say hi to anyone who's still studying and get some sleep. Fingers crossed, God please, because I want to get to bed and I don't want to wake up at 2.30 because of my butt. Uh, as expect, not expected them, but uh, as expected, I've uh, talked with Julia and Paul who literally turned theirs in at 12, both the homework and the uh, and the MCD. <sighs> I wonder how tired I am going to be tomorrow. Alright, so... Uh, we just got back from engineering. I... I woke up at 6 last night and then fell asleep fairly fast after taking medication so but then I turned off my alarm and slept into nine so it kind of defeated the purpose of staying up well not it didn't defeat the purpose of staying up late because I wasn't rolling up in bed but I was less efficient because the hour longer I stayed up was the hour longer I slept in and I get I'm more efficient in the morning so but there's not much more you can do. Uh, and just got back from engineering and I'm still kind of sad we're not doing uh, the LCD screen for our design. But uh, I, I, I might just figure out how to do that on the side because that's still something. And then advertise it as a uh, deluxe version. All right, just got done with my interview with Gloston, and that was really cool. It was really chill. Uh, the, the, there was two people who were interviewing me, and they were coworkers, and they they seemed young, not not like 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 they were they're like cool. Like I don't like the description I told my dad was I don't drink coffee, but I would go to a coffee shop and drink coffee to go talk with them. Like they're they both seem like really cool people. But, uh, yeah, man, I don't like repeating myself, so I probably should have done the video and then talked to Dad. But, um, pretty much I would be, it, it was a cool job, uh, I didn't really go off any script, I was pretty solid with my answers on the spot and my experiences, and, uh, what was cool was there's uh, it would be a work day would be in a cubicle with four other people working on SolidWorks in modeling conceptual uh, taking drawings and turning them into uh, modeling SolidWorks parts for these boats like the one guy did like had been working on a tugboat for a couple years and now it's a year into production and that's really cool and happy with how it went, uh, yeah, like, I feel like if I, if I got to work with them, or that would, like, I feel like I'd want this job more than Janicky, <laughs> but it's also far away, so I probably, if I was working there, I didn't want to commute from 
uh, and I didn't want to commute from uh, I didn't want to commute from home to there I I'd either live at Tio and Tio's or maybe at the property dad it has in Seattle. But, uh, yeah, no, that's cool. Finished physics before then, for whatever, I can understand it. And now the rest of the day, the rest of the day is going to be engineering. Alright, just got done with the D&D session. I wasn't able to get as much done today as I wanted to. Um mainly because of the interview and then I guess in my planning I did I wish I thought I could get, oh and then also the one rehearsal we had with our guest artist uh, the pianist coming down for our jazz concert tomorrow which I'm really super excited for but um, uh, I think should be able to get I can aim to get the stuff more more or less done tomorrow and not feel too far behind. But now talking about D&D, let me turn these turn off these lights and take melatonin. Uh, um where's the light here? Turning it to lower. There we go. Okay, so this time it was uh, the dungeon crawl. They actually I could turn off the fan so you can hear me better. Um, so previous campaign Sunday, they they infiltrated the warehouse that the Xanathar Guild had just wrecked. Uh, that was a part of the. Zentarum, and they found out the mix hat between Floon and uh, Grenier Never Ember, and they were able to. They had a run in with guards at the end, but then they ended there with the known location for where they were planning on finding the. the sewers um and now uh this campaign was the dungeon crawl in the sewers uh started off with uh Sean figuring out his cape was uh was a spider climbing so he could crawl on the sides of walls and almost on ceilings and they instantly split up, which was funny, uh, looking for the eyes inside the sewer drain, uh, inside the sewers, and they split up, they finally met back up with each other, had this whole run-in with, uh, Renair, uh, with, uh, Horace, uh, <laughs> trying to do a mental attack on Renair, and Renair fighting back with another mental attack and putting him back in his place. But they went to, um, they continued and found, found the location, uh, of the base. They stumbled across, uh, some sleeping goblins who were supposed to be sent, uh, sentries to shoot at them. Uh, and then they were, They were going to a, sorry, I was listening to the conversation. Uh, they were going to uh, attack the goblins, but then there was this gazer, which had some cool, like, mental attacks, but they killed it off before it got to do anything. They killed off some of the goblins, but the rest ran away, so they chased the goblins. And, uh, and they, then they found, stumbled across these two 
guy is holding back this door and they quickly dealt uh, not quickly but they dealt with them but they I continually emphasize like they're holding back the door they're holding back the door and they killed the guys and it uh, Horace died <laughs> and then well, Horace died actually almost literally an inch from his life I might have I did I, uh... I didn't fudge any rolls. I didn't lie about what the rolls were, but I did. Um, uh, interpret, interpret something differently. But literally, if I. But then, what? What made the difference of whether, not not that he did, like died and could be re resurrected, but like he like he'd have to create a new character. Tristan's character would have died. It was that bad. But he came with an like. I rolled a one out of on a D8, so he didn't die. But then um, they resurrect him. They give him some health, and then instantly the gray ooze, this like mindless acid burning creature, came in and <laughs> squished and went right back on him and knocked horse back out again, again almost within an inch of his life, almost killing him like actually dead character and then they pulled him out and uh, then they realize uh, the boss is in the next room and they go to do uh, then they sent decide to send uh, Jared uh, Despero uh, into the room to try to pretend to be like a old employee and he rolled a really high persuasion uh, in order to convince him and they were torturing Flume, the person they were trying to capture, and there was a uh, mind flayer stroking a, uh, I forgot what it was called, but it was like a brain with like legs and stuff. But um, pretty much uh, mind flayer left, but they, he left the brain to deal with them. And the brain, what I wanted to do is when one of them get killed, and the brain actually teleports inside their mind and inhabits their body and the only way to get the brain to leave was to actually kill or knock out that person and then the brain would have to leave and then they'd heal the body but that, that was going to be a cool mechanic I wanted to include but I think I'll just have Bolo uh, explain it to them when they meet back up but yeah it's fun I look forward to our next session where, well, some interesting stuff is going to happen. Alright, I just got done with uh, Diffy Q, and I'm really happy because I, I actually understand, for the most part, again, what we're, what we're actually doing going to go pick up some chips from the Maker's Market and then go to and then go to uh, um, go back to my dorm room try to finish physics and then after uh, that go to choir and then after choir, get as much math done before Andrew gets here. And then when Andrew's here, show him around. That should be fun. And then, and then get ready for Jasmine. I'm so excited for tonight. With I'm gonna have David or Andrew record the the videos uh, of my solos. But I'm extremely excited for the feature where it's just me and the professional jazz artist, the pianist, and that's going to be like uh, crazy cool.
Hey, there's like a big pile in it. Vlog. Say hi, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you could send that to three people and they wouldn't even realize something was wrong. You still videoing? Yes, yes. Gotcha. Uh, we can check downstairs. Right, oh, not a big deal. I have extras. Wait. <laughs>
definitely study here. Uh, concert went really good. Like, real, like it was so much fun. It was kind of crazy. Uh, I'm not sure whose recordings I'm gonna put in here, but I've definitely gotta remember to put in uh, recordings of my trumpet solos because they were on the second solo. I wasn't even nervous, but I just kept shaking, and I, it really added to the vibrato, but unintentionally. And the other solos, they were just so much fun. <sighs> All right, that was fun. Just got. Uh, I'm heading to Clages right now to do to finish my math. I was kind of going ham on it just then. Uh, getting some good work done, but I've got to finish my math, and then I'm going to try to get my code done for the LCD screen, and then that should be good for tonight, and then I'll head to bed, and wake up in the morning and chop some wood. I, I finished math, and I understand it, which is still really cool, and it is just almost 1 a.m., but I finished the code for this right here, and it's a crystal ball. I've got a potentiometer to change the brightness, but I've got five things, and let's see. Should I go to sleep tonight? You wish. Um... Please have my butt not hurt tomorrow, uh, tonight. Let's see. Um, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, will the Sadie Hawkins dance be? Actually, most of these have been pretty, pretty bad. But uh, let's see. Uh, will I have a good concert tomorrow? Nah, another day. Uh. Will I learn more in this class? Oh, there we go. That's cool. Sweet, that's that's actually really fun. I really like the LCD screen. That's like really cool. But anyway, going to go to bed now. Video vlog. <laughs> split that wood, split that wood, split that wood, split that wood. See Andrew's mighty stroke. Now's not the time to miss. Look at that, look at that Van Gogh. All right. Here. Andrew, you want to finish it off? Here you go. Nice. Wedge time. Yeah. 
We're getting the whole process on camera. Yeah! My man. So happy I worked. This is some new code that I did uh, on my own, and this is this is the length of it. It's kind of cool, but uh, so it's a it's two programs. Where it first starts there, and then there's a tilt sensor to see if you shake the ball and you ask something. So, again, the same thing that was on the previous day. Uh, will the concert go well? Wow, yes, there we go. But then I also have a temperature sensor, so it was difficult. But again, this worked first try, and that never happens, so this is really cool. And you press the button, and it switches the program to now displaying the current temperature in the room. And if I the temperature rising then I could just press it to switch it back no yeah no oh it I pressed it too many times because right now we don't actually know so I put a delay because this wouldn't let me this is something I don't know yet but the I put a delay in the refresh rate so then it wasn't like changing so fast you couldn't see it but when you have a delay nothing else can happen during the program so uh, if I just hold it oh because see look if I hold it and then it I don't know, but um, that's something to learn is how to avoid the seconds, but that's cool. Sweet. for the big reveal. I really do like my look. Heading to Stern Wheeler and make sure I don't fall off the dock. Say hi to the vlog. I definitely not gonna okay yeah I don't I don't okay good.
<laughs> no, 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 no. It's not. Oh, no. not a selfie. <laughs> Getting pictures. pictures now. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Get join in. Come on. You want to join us? You want to learn how sweet dance? No. Oh. Royal subject forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Fight the fight and win the war For your love, for your praise And I love you till my dying days Hold your soul, I'll go mad So don't throw away this thing we had All alone, past and sharp I will kill your friends and family to remind you of my love. Da 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 I'm not running for president. 
sorry. sorry, what? One last time. Sit down and have a drink with me. One last time. Let's take a break tonight and then we'll each jump out and we'll say goodbye. You and I. With Britain and France on the verge of war, this is the best time. I wanna against bodies and fighting. Up, up, and start writing. I wanna talk about what I have learned. The hard one, the wisdom I have earned. As far as the people are concerned, you have to serve. You could continue to serve. One last time. Soft reminiscent music, nostalgia, remembering what was, what is, what could be. Though in reviewing the incidents of my administration, I am unconscious of intentional error. I am nevertheless too sensible of my defects not to think it probable that I may have committed many errors. I shall also carry with me the hope that my country will view them with indulgence, and that after 45 years of my life, dedicated to its service with an upright zeal the faults of incompetent abilities will be consigned to oblivion as I, I myself will soon be to the vengeance of the rest I anticipate the dreams and expectations in which I promise myself, myself to realize the sweet thing that they're partaking in the midst of my fellow citizens Nine the victims of the free is under the free government. The of my heart. Can't endure the Lord as I trust. Our angel cares. Ladies and angels. One last time.